Ika, where are you? I'm here. Where? I'm here. Can you be more specific? I am outside the station. Ah. There you are. Iko, do you love me? Sorry, I don't understand you. Ah. This is the Ecovax D-Bot T20 Omni. It's a floor cleaning robot. It vacuums, it mops, it talks to you. It does everything but comfort you, as you just saw. But is it worth the price? Is it competitive against others out there? Does it do anything new or different? I have a few thoughts. Here it is, currently vacuuming my house. At a glance here, it doesn't seem much different than others on the market. Sure, it autonomously cleans your house, it has a self-emptying base for both dirt and liquid, but to better understand where this thing actually excels, I'm separating this into three parts, and those are convenience, intelligence, and maintenance. And when I say convenience, I'm specifically looking at what this robot floor cleaner does for you to make your life easier or better Hopefully both. The D-Bot vacuums your house on command with 6,000 PA of suction, making it one of the highest suction vacuums on the market. It does your whole floor, specific rooms, you can draw spot cleans in the app, or there's a housekeeper mode that roams your house and intelligently cleans areas that need cleaning. It goes a step further to allow a lot of other preferences like how efficient you want it to be, standard, deep clean, or a faster clean, Regardless of which option I chose, I found it to be relatively fast and accurate, especially when cornering around objects. The mopping features are really what blew me away here in testing. The mop pads attach at the back of the D-Bot and they rotate rapidly, something like 180 times per minute, while also applying pressure to really scrub the floor and make sure that it's actually clean. You can set mopping pad wetness, mopping pad cleaning interval from deep, daily, or efficient, how long you want the mopping pads to dry for from two to four hours. It just gets really incredibly specific. And then working together both vacuum and mopping, you can customize the modes from vacuum only, mop only, vacuum while mopping, or vacuum first and then do another pass to mop. You can also set the cleaning order in the app to choose which rooms to clean and in what order. When it's done cleaning, Dbot returns to the base that is sort of this all-in-one station in a way. And at first glance I thought, wow this thing is tall, especially compared to something like the Shark 2-in-1 vac mop that I was previously using. But the fact that the Dbot tucks into the base means it's not actually taking up a larger footprint than the others that are on the market. And the size of the base is actually to tuck in a lot more convenience. So in the top you've got the mopping storage including a clean water compartment to mix in your cleaning solution. That's going to feed into the robot. You've also got a dirty water compartment that you can empty after mopping. The D-Bot doesn't have a water tank in the robot, so as it cleans, it'll periodically return to the base to fill and then resume cleaning. In the base, you've also got a dust bag holding up to 60 days worth of dust. But what about the mopping pads? What if they get dirty? The bottom of the base includes a 55 degrees Celsius hot water mop wash that cleans the mop heads, then applies hot air to dry them for two to four hours after use. Again, this is just wild. It's one of those things where I unbox this and then I realize that the base did that and it's just another feature that adds on that others just aren't doing. Again, convenience, that's all I can really say. Now there's also a lot of reasons that D-Bot is intelligent and that starts with all of the sensors. With a main TrueDetect 3D sensing module on the front, a laser and sensor-based navigation module on top, a laser and sensor-based obstacle detection module on the front, and then on the bottom, an ultrasonic sensor, and surrounding anti-drop sensors around the bottom of the unit. So all of these sensors allow D-Bot to effectively avoid objects without needing to bump into them. It also allows it to avoid falling off cliffs or stairs. But the coolest feature and the use of these sensors in my opinion is that when I call it, okay Yiko, I'm here. It turns to look at me with incredible accuracy. Okay Yiko? I'm here. Okay Yiko? So usually voice commands are not that great on most machines and so I don't usually use them. But from what I've tested here, this voice assistant is actually really strong. So let's take a look at a few examples here. Okay, Yiko. I'm here. Exit base station. Exit base station. Please keep the floor unobstructed. Okay, Yiko. I'm here. Pause. I'm on standby. Okay, Yiko. I'm here. Exit base station. I am outside the station. Okay, Yiko. I'm here. Return to charge. Okay, back to station. So you can see there's a lot of really intuitive features here. Number one, when you're talking to it, it senses where you are and actually turns to you to hear you better. It will understand if you try to fake it out and say, 
return to base if it's already in its base and it'll warn you of that. It also allows you to get really, really specific. So if you said mop the kitchen, it would only mop the kitchen. At any time you could tell it to stop cleaning that section and it would. All in all, pretty smart assistant. Once you have your rooms mapped and it understands the context of your house, it can do really well. Oh, also you can tell it to start a quick mapping, which will map a new floor if that's what you're doing. So it's pretty cool because I wouldn't normally use any sort of voice commands or assistant on almost anything, but in this case, it's actually something I use nearly every single day and it always works super reliable. So voice assistant here, 10 out of 10. The intelligence also continues with the ability to map your home and build a 3D model. This makes it easy to follow along with cleaning up, setting up individual rooms and set the cleaning order. It also just looks a lot cooler than the typical 2D map that you see on most of the apps. The app also lets you remotely clean the pads, empty dustbin, or start hot air drying. Okay, Yiko, return to base. So all of this sounds good, but obviously with a machine like this, there's maintenance involved. First, I really like the app for this reason in particular, because you get a list of all the parts to be maintained and then the estimated time until maintenance is required. So in your day-to-day -day use, there is no regular maintenance. The dirty water tank should be emptied after every mopping cycle, but assuming you're not mopping every single day, and you're doing a lot more vacuuming, the dustbin can be emptied every 60 days. The other parts that need to be maintained are a list here, with the most frequent being a weekly cleaning of the brush and the filter. That is not atypical of the other vacuums that are on the market from my testing. So as an overarching statement, I would say that the Dbot T20 is the best floor cleaner I've used. It's a bold statement, I know, but the ability to switch between vacuuming and mopping, the custom features that come along with all of that, and above all the wash station for the mop, this is the closest thing that I have had to achieve completely automated cleaning. Can't say enough good about it. I was wildly impressed. Every time I discovered another feature, I was just blown away and they just kept piling and piling. If this is something that you actually wanna pick up, I will leave links in the description as well as a pinned comment. Also, Ecovacs did send me this early review unit of the T20 Omni, but that did not affect my opinions of this floor cleaning robot. All opinions, comments, feedback are all my own, not theirs. Also, this is now officially my primary vacuum and mop, so if you have specific questions about how it works, if you wanna know how it holds up over time, let me know all of that down in the comments and I will be sure to answer those questions. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yiko, say bye. Doesn't do that.